back to another vlog my name is Sharice and you are here at the Severino family vlogs in today's video we have a ton of stuff to do this weekend we're doing laundry we're doing house renovations we're doing nails today and lots lots more so if you guys are interested I'd love to have you stay happy weekend everyone let's get right into it yeah oh oh yeah I'm out of here. Turn up for the night. the night Real thing, she's no average Girl, too fine, oh she might She's so yeah. damn fine I just wanna call on you call Money on just you. fall on you Not a thing I won't do Ooh yeah, yeah. I just wanna call on you hey. Let me do it all for you Let me do Can't it nobody fall on you Ooh you. yeah, yeah she the girl in my visions Now that I found you, I'm fiending for all your attention girl, Yeah, I want your attention. hope you don't mind if I give you a tour of my mansion Yeah, all of this for you, babe Nothing I won't do, babe Weak for your love Everywhere we go, we they be alright Yeah, can't help it with your body Just wanna make you happy I just wanna call on you Money just fall on you Not a thing I won't do Ooh yeah I just wanna call on you Let me do it all for you Can't nobody ball on you Ooh yeah Yeah Turn up for the night. The night yeah. Real thing, she's no average yeah. girl. Too fine, oh she might so give up fine. on the baggage, girl. You got too much going on in that mind. Let me help you. Yeah, yeah. Let me give you the moments in your life to step to yeah. fly away together. Fly away. Can't help it with your body. Just wanna make you happy. All right, so we're up here at the Grunwald apartment. This is the um, upstairs apartment, actually, and we have some new tenants moving into this unit pretty soon. So I'm gonna do a little deep clean because they didn't do a great job when they left. This is the main bedroom right here. And yeah, I'm gonna start tidying up. My husband is actually in the living room and we are retiling the entire living room space so this is what we have some hardwood tiles and he is doing his thing over there so this is what it's looking like so far half of the floor is done and this is what it actually looked like before so we're doing a lot of upgrades and a lot of remodeling to get the space looking nice the countertop we also did to match the floors Everything you see here is from the Home Depot. And so let's get started. I'll be able to show you guys some after photos and videos once it's all done. So stay tuned. upstairs apartment and we are now in the shower stall so I'm just giving you guys a review this apartment is completely renovated and ready for the most part so this is just a review of what it looks like before the new tenants come in
the second bedrooms, the kids' room. We're just going to be doing some light cleanup work in here. Wash the walls down a little bit, sweep and mop the floor, and that's about it. Our new tenants are going to be here in about a week or so. Okay, so this is the downstairs apartment that will be available for rent in another two months. This is what it looks like. We're going to do a walk around the porch first. There is some scaffolding here in the way, but this is what the outside deck looks like so far. So let's head inside. There is still a lot of stuff going on in here, but this is the kitchen and living room area. Kitchen windows, we're gonna have a sink, stove in this section, and the refrigerator is right here. As I walk in a little bit more, let me turn around. This is the kitchen area. And over here is where we will have the cabinet space for your little pantry items, canned goods, whatnot. The cabinet space is very limited, but we intentionally did that because, man, the last tenants, they were not the cleanest. But anywho, that's a story for another day. We actually had cabinet spaces above here, but we chose to remove it because it was so small and narrow and it, it nested a lot of critters that we do not want to repeat in this space. So this is the kitchen area right here. We added some new columns just to give it a little bit of separation from the rest of the living space. So like I said, the refrigerator goes right here next to the front door. This is all living room space right here. Bathroom is there. Master bedroom is there, children's room is there, and of course we have sliding glass doors to the outside deck. And look, we have a little visitor today, a little iguana. So this is what we have so far, and I'm going to go ahead and take you guys into the master bedroom, which is right over here. So let's do that. The new floors look absolutely amazing. My husband did this in a few hours, one night after work, and this is the complete bedroom. This bedroom was half the size before, but since it's on the ground level of the house, we had a lot of space that we could extend the bedroom, and so we did, and this is what it looks like. I'm so excited about the outcome of it. We have nice big windows that let in a lot of light. This little section over here, we're thinking about putting in a closet space because we don't have a built-in closet right now. Um, we do have some closet doors upstairs at the main house. So my husband is gonna see if they can fit into the space and then we will be able to add the closet space in here. If not, then this area will probably house um, a dresser drawer where I guess tenants can or whomever will be able to put their clothing. But we'll see. We'll figure that out shortly. And let me turn around, give you another view. I don't want to get myself in the clip here. There's a little mirror over there. So this is a concrete slab built on that we created right here as a little decor space. You can use it for, you know, you can put your TV up here if you wanted to, your 
knickknacks. I don't know, whatever people put in their homes these days. <laughs> I don't know, decor items or whatever. But this space is solid. It's solid concrete, beautifully finished. We have some really great workers that are doing an amazing job here on the house. And it's gonna be a happy home for somebody very soon. So this entire slab is all concrete. I believe the measurements of this particular room is, God, I don't wanna get it wrong. I think it is 20 by 11. So it's a very sizable room space. You can fit a lot in here. You can comfortably fit um, a king size bed, dressing table. You have plenty of wall space for mounting a TV, whatever you want. Like I said before, we're gonna work on this area for a closet space. So we're gonna see if the sizing on that mirrored glass door closet will work in that space. But this is what the master bedroom looks like. Beautifully. This mirror here is actually the mirror that goes to the vanity for the bathroom and we're gonna go in there right next. So let me give you guys a panned out view of the concrete building. I love it. It's beautiful. This is it. We're gonna have flush mount ceiling light right up here. Another light fixture possibly over here. We have outlet space for maybe a walk-in lamp. And we also have outlet space over here for two nightstands. The bed goes in the middle. But this is what it looks like. I love, absolutely love the flooring. It's really, really nice. It's simple, it's clean, and it just looks really aesthetic for this room space. So this is the master bedroom. Now let's go on into the bathroom. Okay, where to begin? This is the bathroom space. It's a very nice space, sizable. We still have some work to do, but we have all the materials and supplies that we need for the bathroom space. This is the brand new vanity that we got from Home Depot. We're gonna be putting fresh new tiles right over here. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's gonna be amazing. The mirror vanity is gonna hang here. And then we're gonna go ahead and tile this space with these wave tiles. I think they're really stunning and it will add a really nice accent wall to the bathroom. Over here we have our shower. This is gonna be refreshed. It's gonna look totally amazing by the time my husband and the workers are done with it. So you guys, we have a lot of really serious renovations and upgrades going on to this unit. Like I said, it's gonna be available in within a two month frame, fingers crossed. We've had a lot of people making inquiries already. So we are gonna try our best to complete our timeline. Let me step back out. And so this is what the bathroom space looks like for now. Okay, so now to give you a better visual, I'm standing right here in the bathroom door and this is the living room space. So as you step out of the bathroom door, this entire space is the living room. We've got beautiful rafters on the ceilings. That tapping you hear is my husband upstairs on the first floor. He's doing the tiling. And this is a full view. That's the front door and the driveway right there. And this is a full view from the bathroom doorway. So we have kitchen space right here and the columns, both this column and that column creates a separation from the living room space, which the living room space starts right here at the front door and it comes down. So it's a really cozy little space for a small family. The glass doors, you can have your living room set up however you want it here. This space can be used to mount a TV. We have an outlet right on the bottom there, or you can have a nice simple TV console where you can set your TV right in that little space. We're trying to have minimal, um, 
obstructions in our walls. We don't want too many hooks and nails and all that stuff pounded into our walls. So we've made it very simplified and easy for decor because, yeah, I, I don't want to repeat that where people have holes in the walls, hanging things and all of that. There is a great little invention called 3M command strips. Use them. And now let's go into the secondary bedroom. Like I said, this is a kid's space and this room was much smaller. It's small now, but it's perfect for one child. There's a lot of space and we did extend it out because the room was separated right here and all of this space was living room space. So we took away a little bit of the living room space so the bedroom could be bigger, but there's still a great amount of space here for a small family. So this is perfect. So anyway, the secondary bedroom already has a built-in closet, so that's perfect. You can have like a little dressing table in here and the clothes hanging on top. We've got some storage up on top right there. And this section, you can situate your bed however you want. You can have it bringing, bringing it forward this way or you can set it across the wall. That way you've got space to play with. The room is a decent size. You've got a view. That's the scaffolding outside the door. We're gonna put in new light fixture. And this is the perfect space for one person. So I like it. I'm happy with the extension that we made. That was a good call on my husband's behalf to just take away about three feet from the living room just to extend the bedroom. So it is perfect. I like it. Everybody likes it so far. And once again, that's the kitchen area, living room area. Here's one last look of the master bedroom. And now I'm going to go head back upstairs to finish my little cleanup. This is a light, so don't get alarmed. It's just a light that we use when we're working here at night. So this is the bedroom space, master bedroom. Beautiful. All right, let's head back upstairs. Front view of the house. As you guys can see, it maybe doesn't matter to some people, but it matters to me and it's like really bugging me the design on the porch. It's different from down here as it is up here. Up here we have the straight bars going along. Down here we have the X design going along. So we're gonna fix that. I really like this one. So we're not gonna rip all of these out to change it out, but my husband has a really great idea and I'll tell you about it in another video but for right now this is what it looks like but it will not be staying that way this top level is going to change okay all right for real let's go back upstairs to finish up okay i'm not back in the house yet but you guys this is a back end view of the upstairs bathroom so that's what it looks like we're going to get that all painted once we paint the house, of course, but that's the back view of the house at the top of the driveway. Let me walk around through here. This is our parking space right here. So I'm just going to walk around to show you the other side of the house. And so this is where we are. Um, this is the top level of the house. This is where the master bedroom is on the top. And down below, those two windows are the master bedroom windows that we just came from. The house does not have a cistern, so we've been utilizing water tanks. I'm not sure of the size of each one, but each unit is supplied by its own water tank. And so we're also gonna be finishing that also, and maybe, switching out one of the smaller tanks for a bigger one i don't know that's my husband's department um the roof we're going to be galvanizing the roof at some point so you guys we have a lot of work that we're trying to complete on this house but it's going to look amazing once it's all done we have a small crew of amazing guys and they've been doing such a great job i couldn't be happier so this is what it looks like from all sides Ooh, the sun is so hot out here, I'm out of breath. 
All right, I hope my videography today does justice to what the house is looking like so far. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know if you have any ideas, suggestions, recommendations, anything. If you enjoy our progress on the house, please let us know. It really helps out our channel here. And this is another view of our parking space, our parking area right here. This is just so you can see the amount of space we have for parking. Up there is the main house. We're gonna go up there later on after I finish with the downstairs. I'm gonna go back inside and help my husband out a bit and finish my cleanup as much as I can for today. Alrighty guys, I'll see you on the inside. This is the outside of the main house. It doesn't look like much from here, but wait till you guys get inside and see the progress we have made. It's very exciting to see the steps that you go through to get to where you need to be. So stay tuned for that. I'm going back inside now. No, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out
just building It's my season, lay foundation Make a End of vlog for me Take it to watch me Thanks for watching today's vlog. You go again when I have a flag. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's vlog. We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, if you're new here to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a like and leave us a comment. That helps out our channel really well. So until the next time, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.